Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a half wrap on a tapered tumbler. In addition to that, I'm going to show you a couple of ways to spruce up your vinyl, add a little bit of extra. If you're extra like me, it's not necessary, but it's something that just little details, things like that, that makes your tumbler stand out that much more. To get started with this first tumbler, I spray painted it a sage green from Rust-Oleum and then we're going to go over it with Dewy Frost from the most recent February Peachy Palette. I've linked a discount code in the description box below that is Mitten 10 if you want to buy anything from Peachy Yellow Glitters that will get you 10% off. And once I've got that fully coated, I'm going to hang that on the rack to dry and we're going to go in with the second tumbler and this one I should have laid the vinyl down first. I wasn't thinking when I spray painted this and I spray painted the entire tumbler and if you're using vinyl over a spray paint, especially the neons, they're a little bit grittier than a regular spray paint and the vinyl tends to not stick to the spray paint so what I did was glittered my cup and then I went and epoxied over it because I knew that vinyl would adhere to the epoxy but I wanted to make sure there wasn't going to be any lifting on that vinyl so um, if you're using just a regular spray paint that's not neon you might be able to get away with it if it's um, not a matte spray paint you could get away with that but I wouldn't recommend it on anything that is neon or a little bit like chalky feeling um, anyway so I'm taping off the bottom half and we're gonna go in with so fetch on the top half this is also from the newest peachy palette actually all of these colors are um, we're gonna go in with a so fetch and we're gonna angle the tumbler at about a 45 degree angle and let that chunky kind of cascade down to get a good base started and then once I've got a good coverage on that we're gonna angle it back the opposite direction and about a 45 degree angle and fade that down into the orange. Anytime I'm using any sort of a chunky glitter, I'm always going to take a gloved hand and just pat the glitter down to make sure that it's completely smooth. We're starting out with a good first coat of epoxy that's going to be mostly smooth by the time that is fully cured. Um, and that's gonna save you a lot of sanding, a lot of headaches, and probably a few coats of epoxy as well. You may lose a little bit of glitter when you pat that down if you reapply that glitter and then re-tap it down with your hand, you should have full coverage once again. For the sage tumbler, as soon as I had two coats of epoxy cured on this cup, it was mostly smooth. I just did a once over on the bottom of the tumbler to make sure the bottom was smooth and then I'm going in with my Dremel and sanding that top rim to make sure we've got all of those chunky bits knocked off of there.
Once my tumbler is completely smooth, it's going to be ready to apply vinyl. Both of these patterns are opaque printed vinyl from Paint Between Dreams. They're printed by Banff Custom Creations. And I cut about a four inch wide piece of vinyl off of the 12 by 12 sheet that I had purchased. And because this is a tapered tumbler, the seams are not going to match. So you're not going to be able to use this technique with like stripes or plaid or anything like that because it's a curved tumbler. It's not, the seams aren't going to meet up seamlessly um, and it's going to be very noticeable. So if you do this on a tapered tumbler, just keep in mind that it needs to be some sort of an abstract pattern or a floral that you're not going to really notice where the seam ends up meeting together. Um, but once we've got that applied, I'm going to use the hinge method once again and cut off about an inch of backing, lay that on my tumbler to make sure it is within those lines that I had marked off. Okay, maybe not an inch. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more than this. <laughs> um, anyway, so once I've got that applied, I'm going to take my stripe assistant tool from the Amy's Make Everything. And you'll notice that this is completely crooked. Do not panic if it's crooked. As long as your seams are overlapping and you're able to basically cut it to be a seamless pattern, don't worry about what it looks like. You'll be able to fix it. You'll never notice. Um, so we're going to cut that seam. And once you've got your top and bottom portions marked off, you know where you want to cut them, you're going to take your X-Acto knife instead of a Sharpie and just use it to basically slice a straight line on both top and bottom because you're using a tool that is made to cut straight lines or mark off straight lines, um, it's automatically going to be straight once you put your exacto in there. For this pink and orange tumbler, I cut a white vinyl out at 0.14 inches by 11 and a half width. And then I cut the orange metallic vinyl out at 0 0.08 by 11 and a half width. Laid the white down first and then I put pin striping in orange over top of that. I did that both on the top and the bottom and I did the same thing for the Stay Wild decal. I've linked the SVG below. I just cut it out four inches and white offset with the orange on top. Okay, so now to get into the extra. So obviously this vinyl is absolutely gorgeous as is. I'm extra, I love glitter. So I decided to take a needle nose squeeze bottle. I put Mod Podge in here and I'm just very, very, very lightly going to squeeze a little bit of Mod Podge over where um, like shadows or um, like the little seeds in the center of the flowers anywhere that you could basically accentuate or um, where you see shadows or anything like that you're gonna put glitter over that and I used I tried to stick with the color palette within the flowers already so it wasn't super gaudy um, so I went over the pink floral with pearl from Peachy Olive Glitters and then for the orange florals 
I went over that with Orange Julius. And then the white florals I went over with Bright. In hindsight, I could have probably just used Bright for all of it. It's a very translucent glitter. It's an opal, um, ultra fine, and it tends to take on the color of the base beneath it. So the pink probably would have just been a lighter pink if I had used bright. The orange probably would have been a little bit lighter orange, uh, so on and so forth. So um, that probably would be a little bit easier if you want to replicate this design or something, something similar to that. I would just save yourself the headache. <laughs> I learned the hard way. Um, it will work out either way. So I let that glitter sit for several hours to dry to make sure it wasn't going to smear anywhere and I went through with a chip brush to brush off any excess glitter. There were a couple of the thicker pieces of the Orange Julius and the Pearl glitter that stuck to my vinyl so just be cautious of that. You may need to use your fingernail or you could use the handle of your chip brush, the wood chip brush. Um, that works really good too. Just scrape it a little bit and then you can brush it right off. So it's not a big deal. Um, once I put that on my turner, I put polycrylic over my decal like usual to avoid any sort of lifting. And after I got the decal and the pin striping coated with polycrylic, I put that over my glitter as well to seal it under or on the, the bottom of the tumbler. Um, and then I, once that was dry, went in with my coat of epoxy. Okay, so now on to the sage tumbler. So I pinstriped this at 0 0.10 by 11 and a half and then 0 0.06 by 11 and a half. And I put the sage um, kind of olive green on the bottom and then I pinstriped the 0 0.06 um, with the textured gold vinyl that I use and you'll probably notice <laughs> at the end of this that my decal looks different on this one. I didn't like how this turned out. The gold inlay on the decal was really hard to read and still I'm not like entirely happy with the tan vinyl that I put on it. But after I got it under epoxy, it was a little bit harder to read than it looked before it was under epoxy. So there's nothing I can do about it now. I still love the tumbler. Um, but just play around with your vinyls because if you're using any sort of like neutrals or light vinyls or anything like that, they're kind of hard to read. <laughs> All right, so now for the extraness of the Sage tumbler. This one I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I went in with this metallic paint pen that I got from Michaels. I will list that in the description for you guys. And same thing with this one. I'm just trying to accentuate where there are shadows or you'll see me doing little polka dots where the seeds are in the centers of the florals. Um, anywhere that she's got like a line in her design. I'm just very lightly, I don't want like a bold line, I want just a very thin, very subtle kind of a line um, in the design. So you'll see that I'm going over this and you'll see in the end clips here, I'll do a close up of that to show you guys what it looks like. But I really love this final, I love Alyssa's work, I want to make that kind of the feature of this entire tumbler. I don't want to take away from that. I just want to accentuate it and make it extra because she's extra. <laughs> After I was done lining this, adding these little gold details and changing my decal again, I put it on my turner, made sure to get the polycrylic 
only on the vinyl. I told you this a couple of tutorials ago, I believe. Um, if you get polycrylic on the paint pens, it is, it's some sort of chemical reaction, but it, it smears it. So don't get any polycrylic on any sort of a paint pen or alcohol marker, anything like that, it will completely ruin your cup. After my polycrylic was dry, this needed two final coats and the cup was done. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell button if you want to get notified for my new tutorials that I post every Saturday. And if you'd like to join my makers group on Facebook, that is Mitten Makers, I have listed that in the description box as well. And I will see you guys next weekend.